I knew of Tricky in Atlanta. I was just literally starting my songwriting career at that particular time. We knew each other, we respected each other, we knew what each other had done. Being the producer and the producer knows best, it wasn't until I met someone who had the ability to songwrite and bring as much creative to the process that I felt that I was bringing where I would even consider the word partnership. Partnership was meeting somebody at least halfway or making sure what you were doing was impacting the person that you were beside. It's a connection beyond the X's and O's. It's the things that you can't put on paper that allow us to really create. Dream is so creative that he's writing all the time. One of the more harder jobs is the one that Tricky has and the one that the engineers have and that's capturing the ideas, you know, as they come because once you get the tool and the muscle working in music, it never really stops. Like, there's no way for me to shut it off. Even while he was saying just then about me writing records, I was in my head writing a record because I can't hear the word writing a record without writing a record. In my mind, while these songs are going on, it's a blessing to have somebody to be able to capture it and capture the moment of it and be able to then in the future turn it into something. And I'm a part of that process too, but I'm completely free in my process initially. And I think that's the most important part for all of us. As much chemistry as we have, we don't have a whole lot of music that we both grew up on. I'm from Chicago, he's from the South. A lot of times it's like pull and tug because what I may want to play or what he might have played underneath this melody may be two different genres, but at the same time, through that chemistry, we get this look at each other and we kind of go, that's working, that's not, but when you sing this note against that note, like that feels like it could be a good bridge. I don't think no one is bigger than the song itself, regardless of who you start out writing it for. The song is its song. You can't touch mine. I can't touch yours. You can't touch mine. I can't touch yours. You can't touch mine. Dollar signs, dollar signs, dollar signs, dollar signs. It lands where it needs to land, and it sounds great on that person that's singing it. And those are things I, I'm not responsible for. I think that's just how the universe works. And sometimes you get lucky and lightning strikes and it stays in that bottle. I feel like we're just getting started. We're literally just scratching the surface of what we're actually capable of. We just had a high commitment to music, for the future of music, the respect for the past of music. What I want us to be remembered as is connoisseurs of, of what we do, that we believe what we were doing helped everybody get from one day to the next. Song is God, like where we're from.